Welcome to the Legal Breakdown. I'm Brian Tyler Cohen, and today we have a rare defeat for Donald Trump, courtesy of the U.S. Supreme Court. Glenn, it's not often we see bad news for Trump from the highest court, what just happened here? Glenn Kirshner explains that any day the Supreme Court denies Trump a favor is a good day. Not only was Trump's claim rejected, but so was Elon Musk's. The background of the case is tied to special counsel Jack Smith's criminal investigation into Trump's alleged election subversion. A federal judge issued a search warrant for Trump's Twitter account, including both public posts and private messages DMs. Along with the search warrant, there was a six-month non-disclosure agreement NDA, in place, preventing Elon Musk's platform X, formerly Twitter, from informing Trump that his information had been subpoenaed. This is critical because alerting Trump could have led to tampering with witnesses or evidence. Unhappy with this NDA, Musk filed a lawsuit claiming it violated his First Amendment rights to free speech. Lower courts dismissed Musk's argument, so he escalated the case to the Supreme Court, known for often siding with Trump. However, in a surprising move on the first day of their new term, the Supreme Court refused to take up the case. Musk's goal was to prevent future non-disclosure orders in similar cases, but the court's decision kept the current law in place. Some text goes here by filing the lawsuit, didn't Musk alert Trump anyway? Glenn responds, suggesting the suit might have been filed after the NDA expired. Regardless, Musk likely would have had to file the lawsuit under seal, keeping the information private until the court allowed it to go public. This Supreme Court decision maintains the status quo, ensuring prosecutors can continue using non-disclosure agreements when obtaining sensitive information. Glenn emphasizes that the Fourth Amendment, the right to privacy from unreasonable searches, remains intact. Musk's attempt to weaken these protections fail, and the legal framework stays in place. As we head into the next election cycle, the Supreme Court's refusal to intervene in this case provides some reassurance that they may not corruptly interfere with future election results. For ongoing updates, including legal battles and Supreme Court decisions leading up to the election, make sure to subscribe to both of our channels. Thanks for watching the legal breakdown.